Hey guys, it's Evil Anakin and today I'm at AX Chibi. It's uh, the end of the day for me, but this is going to be the start of the video for you. So we're going to be running through the exhibit hall, we're going to check out some cosplayers, and we're going to head on into this con and check out Artist Alley and do so much. But uh, enough of me talking, let's get into the video, guys. First thing we're going to check out is the exhibit hall, but before we can do that, I have to go meet up with some friends at the little merch bag giveaway area that they have at AXGB. They have these uh, all AXs, so you have to go get your little pamphlet and your little plastic bag. But on our way into the exhibit hall, they had this really cool cosplayer out here for Honkai Star Rail. Super, super cool. It looked like Honkai Star Rail was sponsoring the event, and that's always super cool to see. But here we are in the exhibit hall, and the first thing that draws my attention is this key truck. This is a really cool booth. I've seen them before. And oh my goodness, guys, I was on the hunt for some waifus. I was hoping to find some Nikkei stickers like I did at Anime Pasadena, but I was not able to. I was on the hunt for them. But there was a lot of waifu stuff around, whether it's figures, stickers, shirts, or whatever you're looking for, they had it. Even the Senpai Squad v Shoujo car was here. This is super cool to see. I've seen it at other cons, but it's always good to see. But talking about some things that I love to see, oh my goodness. Here are some cool products I saw that I loved. Boba candles. Power Chainsaw Man Eat a Bag. This was super cute, but it was a little out of my price range. And then some adorable rugs here, but this one caught my attention. Oh my goodness, loved it. And then some Legend of Zelda plushies and little wooden uh, Koroks. And then some Kirby earrings. And I thought these were pieces for weed, like, like little pipes, one hitters. I, I, they were not. <laughs> Oh, uh, but then I took a little break with my friends here. We stopped and checked out the dog and sort of regrouped and figured out our plans. Since when you come to a convention, everyone always comes in from a different direction. But checking out some cool booths, we came across the Good Smile booth. And then this hella cute market was super cool. They had these Filipino license plates. This Peck Peck one was really funny. And then this booth was just amazingly beautiful. Very eye-catching. Sad it was in the back of the building though. And then this Soju booth here was really cool. They had these really nice shirts and shorts here. And I really liked their plushie, and so did my friend Roxy, but it was just way too expensive. But now we're gonna check out the Studio Ghibli booth. They had a huge booth. I didn't go through the whole thing. I just sort of stood on the outside and checked it out. But they had so many cool things like plushies, art books, uh, blind boxes. I didn't even know Ghibli did blind boxes. But they had so many cute little things here that you could get always good to see and here I am taking some funny pictures with a Totoro and then my friends had to get their own little picture and of course the crowds here were pretty bad but the new layout this year definitely helped I feel like they organized so much better this year than last year and it was so much easier to get around that's a lot of oppas that's great oppa adoption oppa adoption oh small 44 Where's Roger? Up there. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, there's an example of large opera. Yeah. There's right here. So what do you have to say about the cheating allegations in Beyblade? Kamenaido Ichigo. What's that? Kamenaido Nibo. What are these? Posters? I don't know. Minko trading card. Oh, these are little, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna get him. Just, I don't know. Yeah, just well, it, it depends on how it's, if it's one, one dollar per piece. Is this a piece? <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Are the women's the same?
And if you couldn't see from that little montage, and if you can't read, we're on our way to Artist Alley. And I had a lot of fun in Artist Alley this year. So I'm again accompanied by my buddy Roxy here, and we're going to go in and we're just going to check things out. Quite the crowd coming out right here. It took a little bit to get in here. They could really use another entrance, uh, you know, in use. They have all these doors, but they don't let you use them. There was a lot of really unique vendors here. Super cool, and it was super easy to get around this year. And I will say it was very nice inside this tent area. Last year it was really humid and kind of just like a little unbearable and stuffy inside. It had rained a few days leading up to AX Chibi last year. And this year it was, you know, clear skies for like the week leading up. And it was just so nice. And the AC was working great inside. And so it was just like nice and chill by these giant vents they have. It was such a wonderful time. Uh, going through here and the new layout that they had really really helped I'm gonna talk about layouts when I get to the maps later but it was so nice to get around and I will say I feel like the crowd was a little bit thinner this year I don't know if there was less people overall or if maybe people divided up which day they came I am here on a Saturday so yeah but there's so much cool stuff to come down and check out a lot of people travel for AXGB they come from out of town, so this is an event where a lot of people are coming from, like, Canada or, you know, all over the place. It's kind of like a mix between, like, a shopping convention and, like, a cosplay convention and a party convention. Because it's, it's open late, right? And I feel like the Ontario Convention Center is made just to party in general because they've got all the hotels surrounding it, and so they kind of want that vibe going on. And I think ALA used to be up here, right? And so ALA kind of had that party con vibe and then they moved to Long Beach or whatever and uh, it, just interesting. But here's their obstacle course they had. I thought it was an adult sized one, but it was a couple kid sized ones and I'm just not going to be able to fit in there. I'm too heavy, guys. <laughs> but uh, having a lot of fun going through Artist Alley. I'm basically just accompanying my friend Roxy and she's doing all the shopping and I'm just sort of walking around and filming people. There's a lot of cool cosplayers here in Artist Alley, a lot of cool people around in general, a lot of cool art, so many unique things to see, and again, really liked it in around this year. But now we're going to head into the map, so I'm going to talk about some of the things that AX did right, and we'll get to that in just a second. So I just wanted to go over some of the maps and some of the things that I think Anime Expo Chibi did right for 2023. So here's the map for the Exhibit Hall for last year, for 2022. And as you can see, it's not the right angle, but here's the map for this year. It lines up better map-wise. But more than that, here is a close-up of this year's, and then here's last year's. And you can see here in this front area, they didn't allow for giant booths to be just taken over and just sort of clog up the zone. And Artist Alley had a completely different layout. So last year they were vertical, and this year they're horizontal. And this made for shorter rows and it was easier to get through. And since we're on the topic of maps, we have to talk about the cosplay gathering sites map that AXGB made. So they made all of these cosplay gathering sites and designated them, and then they never made any cosplay gatherings. There was no organized effort from AXGB to have cosplay gatherings. And it was really mind boggling. And this just made me remember that this year's Anime Expo had the same thing where like almost like none of the people were showing up to the cosplay gathering sites and they were like so mishmash run and I don't know. It was very odd and it was kind of a letdown and I wish AX would figure this out because Anime Pasadena can do it no problem. Okay, and here we are, we're coming up on the Retro Market, and this is where last year they had the giant stage, and now they've replaced it with like this Retro Market, which is interesting. They decided to add in more places to shop, but they also had a contest going on for some AXGB art thing. One of my friends entered this, it was really cool. They had all of the pieces displayed here on these boards at the back of the Retro Market. They also had some cars back here which is really cool i don't really know why these were here it's like i think there must be retro cars i don't know much about cars guys i'm not gonna lie but it's cool i mean i kind of wish they had some more anime cars like atasha you know like some anime rap cars that would have been really cool like the v shoujo car that they had inside at the senpai squad i'm shocked that they have these here it's very odd 
But here on the other side of the hall, they also had more people who entered into the art contest for AXGB. A lot of cool stuff here. And then, of course, going through the market itself, there is a lot of retro stuff here. Just as the name implies, it's like all retro stuff. And they also had like some VTuber and like waifu merch stuff in here. And I don't really understand why it's out here. It seems a little forced, but you know, I saw my friend Miri at uh, the Neon Shrine booth. Here she is. And one of the biggest improvements to AX Chibi was the outside area. This was much more hospitable this year. I think the weather was much more, you know, convenient for people to come out and hang outside. So there was more people outside than inside. And this is also where the AX merch booth was. And I had to come and get something. I always try and get something from a merch booth if it's, you know, if they have something unique. And this year they had some socks and I had to get these socks because these are super cool. I needed a new pair. So I ended up getting the socks. My friend Roxy ended up getting socks. Her friend ended up getting socks. Everyone I know got socks. Also, this merch booth was open super late, so you didn't have to worry about missing stuff out. So we came back way later in the day and it was still open. And before I can get into the full nighttime area, there was a little performance and they had performances throughout the day outside in the street here. <laughs> I think the biggest come up for AX Chibi this year was the food stall area because they had actual stalls this year and you know when they're cooking stuff on site you know you get the heat coming in and there's more of a warm vibrant atmosphere and as you can see all these stalls have lights and it's just a beautiful gorgeous atmosphere at night you know they've got the vibes and it was just so much fun to walk around and you know I feel like the food is also more appropriate for an anime convention as well last year it was like a bunch of food trucks so it's kind of just like random, but this year was more, you know, Asian themed overall. And I think that's kind of preferred for like anime conventions in general, at least for con goers. You know, a few like taco trucks every now and then, but I think Asian food is probably what people want to eat when they come to an anime convention. But yeah, this nightlife here was just so much fun. There was so many people hanging out late. It wasn't as big of a party as last year because they don't have the big stage, but there was still you know, they had the big balloons and people were still doing photo shoots and they had a littler stage out by the other side of the event hall, which, you know, kind of makes up for last year. I guess this might even be the same stage, but it's just a little smaller. But after that, we decided to head in and now we're going to check out some of the stuff in the halls, guys. Now it's time to get into the nightlife and I didn't stay very late this time around as I didn't have a hotel but I did hang out until you know it got dark and people started leaving like normally like kids are gone at this point and they also started the nighttime activities as well so the arcade was still open the arcade was open till like 10 this was so cool to see all these people still here just jamming this room was a little humid for me but you know everyone seems to be enjoying their time and hanging out and vibing you know just a good time all around but just continuing through the halls you know, the halls are pretty much barren at this point, which is super cool. But we decided to go upstairs and check out some of the rooms. They had like a board game room and they also had a video game room. And if you wanted to get one of the ones with the more expensive controllers, you had to leave your ID. But if you want to just sit down and play like a GameCube, you could. And then we're heading on over to the karaoke room, which was just the cosplay sets. But they do karaoke in here. They had karaoke in here last year. And they didn't have a bar in here this year, but they did have it outside the hall, so that was super cool. And that's a big thing about this event, is that they have like bars all over at night, which is, you know, fun. But the last thing we're going to check out here is the J Fashion Swap Meet. And we came here really late at the day, like this was open pretty late, so everyone's probably already came and done their stuff and, you know, got out. But I just wanted to come and check out what was going on here, because these are the same people who do the Harajuku Day down in Little Tokyo, and so I really wanted to come down and check and see what's going on here, because I, I just don't know. I, you know, I'm not a big Harajuku guy, so I don't know, I don't know, I don't know much about it. 
if you guys want me to go to Harajuku Day, let me know down in the comments below if you guys think I should go. But uh, Roxy was having fun going through some of the dresses. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.